This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. You know that saying, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it? <laughs> ah, this story uh, exemplifies that. It brings it to life. Salt Lake Tribune is reporting the Bible is banned in these Utah elementary and middle schools now for vulgarity or violence. Davis School District's book review committee made the determination, though it's already been appealed by another parent. The, a few weeks ago, I guess, I did a video where I read from the Bible scriptures that would fall into this category that the right is now banging on about. Pornography, uh, sexualizing children, uh, incest, infanticide, all of these topics that absolutely are covered and some in great detail in the Bible. So it was only a matter of time until some parent used the tactics of the right against them to have their book of choice, the Bible, banned in schools. Now, having said this, do I believe the, ba- the Bible should be banned from schools? No, I do not. But as a messaging uh, element, this is good news because it's going to, everything has to be treated fairly. We are a, a country of laws and, and fairness, and uh, it, it is good to see this taking place. I'll just read from this article a little bit. And by the way, it's written very goofily, if you will. The first two sentences or so uh, are playing cute with uh, Genesis 1-1. Um, in the beginning, a parent filed a challenge to have the Bible removed from Davis School District Library, citing passages describing sex and violence. The district said, let there be a review of the book, and it was so. All right. Uh, now, the committee appointed by the district to review the complaint and decide if the Bible is appropriate for students to access has made its determination. High schools in Davis will keep the religious text on the shelf, but it will be removed from elementary and middle schools for containing vulgarity or violence. Again, here's a screenshot. I don't remember exactly what video it was in, but I'll put it up. I'll go and find it and put it up in post, as they say. You can go find it and, and, and listen to me read from passages in the Bible that, just, that, that go into great detail about violence and Lot having, or Lot's daughters having sex with him to get themselves pregnant to carry on the world's population after Sodom and Gomorrah was uh, uh, supposedly destroyed by God. Uh, watch that. That'll give you a flavor for the kind of things that we're talking about here. That decision on the book challenge, which gained national attention when it was first reported on in March, will take effect immediately, said Davis School District spokesperson Christopher Williams in an email sent to the Salt Lake Tribune this week. He believes there are seven or eight elementaries and middle schools in the district that have copies of the Bible that will now be removed as the school year wraps up. The scripture was first challenged in December by a parent who wrote in their complaint, and this is important because if everything is equal, if if a book about uh, the LGBTQ community or black history is considered uh, taboo, too sensitive for elementary school students, then why not should the Bible, why should not, why should not the Bible also be included in that group? It, It contains graphic depictions of sex sex with uh, children's parents, uh, all kinds of stuff, which this article is going to get to with a statement from the parent. The scripture was first challenged in December by a parent who wrote in their complaint that they were frustrated by the books being removed from the school libraries in recent months with conservative groups across the country and in Utah taking aim at literature they call quote-unquote inappropriate and which particularly focused on books written about the LGBTQ community. So the parents submitted their request for review of the Bible, saying it was time to remove one of the most sex-ridden books around. Incest, onanism, bestiality, prostitution, genital mutilation, fellatio, dildos, rape, 
And even infanticide, the parent wrote in their request, listing topics they found concerning in the religious text. Quote, you'll no doubt find that the Bible under Utah Code uh, 76, 10, 12, 27 has no serious values for minors because it's pornographic by our new definition. Again, careful what you wish for, Republicans and conservatives and white Christian nationalists, because you might just get it. The code cited is the Utah law passed in 2022 to ban any books containing pornographic or indecent content from Utah schools, both in libraries and the classroom. And then finally here, based on the new code, Something, something is indecent if it includes explicit sexual arousal, stimulation, masturbation, intercourse, sodomy, or fondling. According to state attorneys, material doesn't have to be taken as a whole in those situations or left on the shelf during a review. If there is a scene involving any of those acts, it should be immediately removed. So good for this, this what, what I would assume is an activist parents. Um, again, I don't know if they really want the Bible removed or if this is just a play to show to the right that if you're going to play by these rules, they can be played by. And your precious book, the Bible, when you take away context, is absolutely the same, contains the same material that you claim that you want removed. The, the rub here is that they don't want it removed. They want it removed based on the fact that it is, uh, uh, that it is it deals with, with gay relationships, that it deals with trans issues, that it deals with what they fear, CRT, um, talking about the struggles of black and brown people in America over the history of our country and how dastardly they've been treated by the white establishment they don't want these things taught to white children because the, the the more you know about your history maybe you'll turn and uh change your ways maybe you will adjust the way you live and think and act toward other people uh so good on these parents i think this is fantastic I think that more of this needs to happen all across the country. There needs to be several parents in Florida, not just Utah, who use to their advantage the tactics of the right to bring some balance here. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I'm on a push to get to 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it's only with your help that I'm going to be able to do just that. Follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you want to support my work, you want to do something more than just subscribe, which is free, click the subscribe button. You can click the join button below, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. There's also like a super thanks button to give some immediate support in a comment. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I will see you next time with your uh, Bible bands in place. <laughs> Be genuine. Take care of one another.